Caners Worldwide, hope that you are staying safe, sane, picking up your cane, and welcome to all those who are new to the cane culture, uh, and thank you for subscribing. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and do it so you don't miss out on anything. Today, uh, let's take a look, still staying with this cane at home uh, a theme, and how it is that the movements, what can you do? Let's, let's look at actual applications. I'll give you three different ways of practicing, including, most importantly, what if you don't have a training partner? What if you don't have a guy like this um, to practice on and it's just you? So a lot of times you'll see uh, that our caners do work where the cane goes around the wrist, for instance, and you might see them looping and bringing it uh, right back in and doing things like this. And people look at it and say, what's the value of that? Um, you know, I, I don't see that just looks like fancy schmancy stuff. So let me show you this right here. Uh, anytime that you do this, what you're doing uh, is that you are putting something tangible uh, around the limb that you're going to need and how this transfers over when you're seeing this. So if I take an application, so this is warm body, so I'm going to work this backwards. And, and you're dealing here with somebody who say, hey, I can't go into a power shot mode. I cannot do anything because I'm stuck somewhere and, and I'm here and I don't want anything and there's, there's a strike that's coming over. And so I go ahead and I go into this armadillo, which is what we call it, and here's the strike. Anytime you see this movement um, uh, with our, in, our, in our curriculum, you'll know we're taking, we're going around here. And the goal is not for the uh, crook to feel, fit comfortably around the neck. I am using a player cane, which with a soft uh, horn, because obviously I can get in trouble here uh, if, I, if, if I hurt, but what I'm doing is I'm snagging, I'm catching, and at the same time I'm pushing away. Now, I could come in here and strangulate and cut off as well, and, and, and if I do that right, she'll go ahead and tap in here. But, 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 but don't miss this, there's, there's the strike, and now I'm moving into this. And a lot of times you'll see in our movements, and you'll see that it looks something like what I just did. One, two, and if you didn't have, um, you know, if you couldn't uh, just jump and come off, that's fine. And you can move in here and you say, why are you lifting your feet? So when you come in here, there's the strike. Uh, here's the Boom, that's what that starts training you and represents. And if you do have one of these bags, but your wife will not train with you, uh, that's fine. You can uh, use your verbal skill set here. Here comes the strike. You're still going to move up this over. Go ahead and strike and remove so that you can then create your space. Just one example of that. You can also uh, uh, take the same thing, this concept again, around the wrist. This gives you something tangible, again, to work with. Right, so when you do this, this can represent a wrist grab so that if I bring this around, and you wouldn't do this with a watch, by the way, I'm being lazy again and not removing, and not removing it, but it, it, here you're grabbed. If I turn that cane, you find that it starts locking the wrist. Very similar, it forces you to remove and maneuver the wrist in such a way. So let me show you if I had a two-handed wrist grab here. Now folks, winning this is kind of tough and doing anything around here, it's tough. My recommendation is going to be to go up here first because when you start doing this, there you may have the natural reaction, especially if you're going in the area of the eyes because they're so close to the brain, you're going to have a better probability that she'll let go and, and have to do that. But, but even if she doesn't let go as I'm doing, watch. Keep a, a close eye on here that as I do this, it's still aligned with my center and I can lock. And there's the face and there's, and now I keep going here and that allows me to break off. So a lot of the training, what it does, as I've pointed out many times, is it develops the kinesthetic sense for having to do this. And that should bring clarity as to why you'll see that our caners train in that fashion. That's a second example of how that works. And you can, uh, you can work that straight off of your cane. You can work these things solo and create that, um, that kinesthetic sense. Let's do a third one. So in this one, she's gonna come with a straight strike. 
She's going to come with a straight strike. And straight strike first, just put the, the cane here, because you're, you're, you're going to come. I'll, I'll, I'll show you the movement. So if I'm dealing here, you may, you may see something like this, right? I, I'm moving around in here. Maybe you see uh, this, and it just looks like, my gosh, she's dancing here. And, you know, what, what is it that, right? Something like that. Um, that strike comes in. You're knocking down limbs. Right, and that's, that first one is a power shot to the on a styloid process because it's an impact tool. So you're going for bone here, bang, right? You're using that hand to go ahead and cover, and now you're taking out that shin, right? You're taking out that shin. So that initial movement of coming here, here, and now from a separate, a different angle, here comes an overhead strike with a tool. Now this could be a metal pipe, this could be a bat, whatever it is, you're moving out to go ahead and to go into this, hot, what we call the hot side or the side that she has left open and unattended because I moved with what we know to be a number 12 shot, right? So if I'm dealing here with my Bob buddy here, as I'm moving, well, that takes one, I can actually make the contact and come back around and then repeat that type of movement over and over. But if not, know that it is already built in to that curriculum where you're moving in here and we're showing you how to do this. So the reason that I point this out is because a lot of you, uh, when you communicate with us and I see certain things that are pointed out to me in posts, things like, oh, I just wish I had an instructor, uh, you know, where I live. I'm waiting for somebody, uh, you know, to be able to train with. There's no need to wait because, for instance, we have a curriculum that is designed. We know that you don't have another uh, a body to work with. We know that you don't have a bag. You may not have that. And, and we know how to deliver this. It is ideal and was designed for solo training. And we show you the transference of those skills and how to do it. Then when you come down to an immersion here, or you do have uh, somebody else to train with, then you can go ahead and apply it. But we're wasting enormous amounts of time. And here's the thing, there's zero progress. While you're waiting, there are hundreds of caners right now getting trained online. <laughs> And, and so um, if you want to know how to do that, we are finding that the most effective way is to actually get on a, in a short call with you, maybe 15, no more than 30 minutes, listen to you, listen to what your goal is, where you want to get with this training, and get clear on it. That's why we call it the Caner Clarity Call, CCC. And if you text CCC to 305-745-7839, we will get on a phone call, and by the time that we're done, you will know exactly how you can master, or, or, or whatever your goal is, uh, learn how to defend yourself with the tool, um, maybe you wanna become an instructor, whatever the case may be, you will have a clear path. You'll know exactly what it is that you do need to do, what is the next step, and what is the time frame, so that, again, you see progress in your training because if you don't see progress in your training, that's when you give up and you quit and you say, you know what, I gotta wait, wait, wait. And because you waited so long, it's just not going to happen. All right, so um, just wanna make sure that you knew that that is available to you guys. Thank you so much. Um, uh, continue to play uh, uh, by the rules. Uh, stay safe and keep caning always.